I'm so mad about what's happened with our kids that it, it's very hard. I'm losing respect mm -hmm. for him in that res in that regard. Cody says he feels disrespected by you. Well, it's mutual. I think it's a it's a two way street there. I think if he had truly been watching out for me and my children, he would have figured out a way to make it work for the whole family instead of having his rules and hanging out with the wife, staying where he, is, he was respected and obeyed. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, March 14th, 2024. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. There's been some new updates. We have Robin Brown, who's returning to her social media where she breaks her silence, sort of, in a new bio post on one of her social media platforms. Cody Brown has an update where he is leaving one of his social media platforms for the time being. And Christine Brown is sharing new photographs of Garrison as she continues to work through her grief of losing one of her claimed sons. It's been quite a week since everything has happened. It's been 10 days since Garrison's sudden passing and nine days since he was found by his brother Gabriel. And we had the news reverberate throughout the world about his sudden passing. Jason Brown left the world at age 25 after a very rocky last season on Sister Wives that included a lot of back and forth between Cody and Robin and the boys about what their beliefs were about whether or not Garrison and Gabriel needed to give an apology to Robin for being rude to her. Cody was mad at the boys because they weren't, according to him, following COVID pro protocols, as well as not wanting to put their social lives on ho hold during the pandemic, as well as blaming Robin for everything in, that was going on in their lives, which he said was false, as well as any time the boys would put a mirror up to him and say, this is what happened, he would deflect that back onto them and accuse them of being that way. So anything that the boys would say to him as far as their thoughts and feelings, Cody would immediately deflect and gaslight and Robin would immediately deny or not remember. And famously, when it came to the holidays, Robin threw a temper tantrum over this huge text thread that they had where they were gonna do a gift exchange and she decided that they weren't gonna do a gift exchange anymore because the kids wouldn't listen to her and she had a temper tantrum basically telling them that if they weren't going to listen to her and do what she wanted, that they weren't going to have a relationship with the kids and they weren't going to be a part of the gift exchange and they didn't want to have Christmas with the family. But then throughout the season, they ignored that actual fact that Cody and Robin were the ones that cut everyone off and they kept going on and on and on about how the boys weren't safe and getting together with the boys wasn't safe and Cody was just using it again as an excuse. And I think it was Janelle that famously shared that, you know, every single time there was something that they needed to meet in order to make amends or to get to a point of, you know, where there wasn't going to be conflict anymore, Cody and Robin would just change the goalposts and like move the, move the guides as far as like what they had to do to bow down and get in good graces with them. And so it became this never ending cycle of, the boys not being able to meet the needs of what Cody wanted, Janelle not being able to meet the needs of what Cody wanted, and Robin continuously gaslighting and acting like she wasn't doing any of it, which was awful. And at the same time on the season saying that she's the victim of all of it, right? She was kicked off Brown Family Island. She was the one that wasn't accepted by the family. She was the one that's been rejected by everyone. When the reality is, is that Cody basically rejected everyone for her kids. And that all came out this last season. And Cody said some really awful things. He said things like all of his kids were jerks. He never wanted to speak to them again. 
on the tell all, he said that it got to a point and it's gotten to a point that if anyone even speaks negatively about Robin, he wants to punch them in the mouth. He has made threats of violence against, you know, wives and kids, screamed and yelled. He was awful this past season. And the ones that took the brunt of his anger were his kids, specifically his boys, Garrison and Garrison and Gabriel very much became endearing to the fans because they were for a lot of people standing up to their to the guy that was like being so cruel to everyone and being honorable sticking up for their moms and you know trying to bring together their family and that was a lot of weight to put on them needless to say when the season ended and everything was sort of like calming down a lot of people were like how does this family move forward when everything on the show has become so toxic and a lot of people were concerned about the wellness and the health of the boys because of all of the awful things Cody said about them over the past season. Even Janelle had mentioned in the season that she was worried about Garrison's mental health and Gabriel's mental health, and that they both just did not seem as happy as they used to be. So obviously, when Garrison ended up taking his life, it was shocking for many people and we also, a lot of people could go back in time and watch the show and sort of try to make sense of things. Although we'll never know what was in his mind that night. We'll never know. Regardless, all of that to say Garrison and Garrison and Robin's relationship was, they had no relationship. Garrison wanted nothing to do with Robin. He never wanted to speak to her again. He was very clear. He never wanted to speak to her again. He was very clear that he felt that Robin was manipulating and gaslighting and she was the one that was actually causing issues for people and then pretending like she wasn't and he was very clearly saying that he wasn't going to let her affect him anymore so as everyone has been offering condolences robin has said nothing which i said a couple days ago well you know what she probably shouldn't say anything because why would she say anything she was causing a lot of these problems so she used to have a bunch of pinterest boards and she had all of these different boards for like her and Cody, her son, her kids. She had boards for her sister wives. And then last spring, she deleted every single one of her boards and she created a new board called God is Love. She got rid of every single pin that she had ever created. And she updated her status back last year. And before she deletes all of her boards, I want to just tell you what her bio said. It said, I am very blessed. God is my source. I love being a woman, a wife, and a mother. That's what it said. And then suddenly she decides that she is going to delete all of her boards. And as more and more people were finding her boards and seeing the snarky stuff that she was posting, she then changed it from having her name Robin Brown on there to being RB and her post that her bio then said followers go find purpose in your own life and stop wasting your precious time with mine that's what she said and that was you know back in I don't even know when she changed that it was last spring maybe May or June and she got like I said got rid of everything so last week after everything happened her bio was still listed the same way where it said box followers go find purpose with your own life and stop wasting your precious time with mine and now instead of putting out a post about garrison or putting out something to janelle anything really to show that she's thinking of anyone beyond herself instead she posted a new bio on her pinterest and she did this just this last week and she wrote followers Go find God's purpose in your own life and stop wasting your precious time with me. So it says her first, just to share it with you, the difference, go find your purpose in your own life and stop wasting your precious time with mine. And then it changes to go find God's purpose in your own life and stop wasting your precious time with me. Thank you to those who are kind and supportive. I see you. So after having this snarky sort of dismissive post on her Pinterest for almost a year, she suddenly adds God to it. 
about finding God's purpose and then thanks people for supporting her and then says she sees them. I don't know if she thinks adding God to it will make th people think that it's a nicer way of saying, leave me alone. I don't know if she thinks that adding God to it makes her appear more holy, but I have noticed that God Robin does like to stand behind God and deflect and use it as a shield when she has any level of criticism coming her way. She also likes to use it as a shield that she's holier than thou and better than people, in my opinion. And then she says, thank you for those who are kind and supportive. I see you. Making it about her. I mean, obviously it is her Pinterest. It's just very strange, <laughs> again, that you know no, nothing has been posted by her. No statements have been made by her. A statement was made by Cody, but nothing by Robin. And her only update is to thank people who are supporting her for being kind to her and that she sees them. Heavily focused on only the people that were being critical of her, telling them to go away. And now suddenly it's thanks for your kindness and your support. And she did this update when Janelle's also saying to people that she's been blown away by the support that she's been given by all of the outpouring of fans, all of the people donating to the animal shelters, all of the condolences and all of the like comments of encouragement and just people sharing an, out an outpouring of love, not only for Janelle, but for her son Garrison. And now suddenly Robin is thanking people su for support. And she's also thanking people for support at the same time Christine is thanking others as well for support as she navigates her grief. She came home to a basket from David's kids and she was so grateful that people had done that for her. And so instead of Robin actually going to a platform where she could speak and be seen and thank people for support and offer condolences or, or say like, I'm so sorry that this happened to Garrison or express perhaps her own regrets in the situation. She just thanks people for support. Support is not, I mean, there has been some support on her Instagram, but I want to just give you sort of an understanding of what people are saying on her Instagram. Here's a couple of recent comments. You are not a sister wife, Robin. What a disgrace you created for yourself. I pray for your children because they are also victims of your disgusting behavior. Get down on your knees and pray to your God for failing as a sister wife, wife and mother to the children in the family you never loved as you claim. Comment was just made this afternoon. And there are thousands like that. Someone else wrote, I can't believe she has been silent about this. Someone else said, are you going to blame Christine for this too? Do you forget that you're being filmed and we can see your manipulation? Another comment was, kids are kids for life and a parent's love is unconditional always and forever. There is not a thing on this planet that justifies cutting a child out of your life. He never asked to be born. His parents owed it to him to show up. At least one did. In no lifetime would I ever want to be even partially responsible for severing a parent-child relationship. Last Christmas, you said on national television, you didn't want to meet up with the older boys because it wasn't safe. Well, now you don't get the chance. His last Christmas on earth and y'all willingly chose to stay the hell away instead of fixing things. And now you will never have the chance. That young man was valuable. He was worth something and you treated him like he was a piece of garbage that didn't matter. Imagine what that does to a young man psychologically. I'm so angry. I, a absolutely beautifully unique, never to be repeated event in this universe is gone. And y'all chose to treat him as if he were dead before he ever was. I hope every last wrong done against this child was worth it. We can't necessarily blame her for everything, but she does have a history and a pattern of what's called parental alienation and severing relationships. She did it with her ex-husband and her kids, and Cody basically became alienated from his kids that weren't Robin's kids in favor of Robin's kids. Is it fair to put the blame on her? Not necessarily. And is it fair to put the blame on her for what happened with Garrison? Not necessarily, but the, the anger is palpable and it's all over the comments on her Instagram. There are some comments that are nice saying like, leave her alone, blah, 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 or like, 
these comments are terrible. I'm sorry, Robin, that that there's so many ugly people in the world. I'm sorry for your loss. But for the most part, the comments are like the ones I've read. So she is not expressing sorrow for the loss of Garrison. Instead, she's thanking those five people that are leaving nice comments on her Instagram for their support. I can't explain Robin Brown. I don't know why she does what she does, but this is another Robin Brown move and definitely not unlike what Robin would do. So Robin's breaking of her silence is to make it about herself, it seems, which she did a couple weeks, like last week, where she said she was more devastated than, than Janelle, even though it was through an anonymous source to the sun. And even though they'll say that story wasn't true, I'm convinced it was Robin or one of her friends. So Robin breaks her silence and then Cody, his cameo is now disabled. So Cody had a Instagram account that he barely ever posts on. He has a Twitter account that he barely ever tweets on. And then he has a paid cameo where fans could pay him $150 for him to say a minute worth of whatever came out of his mouth of encouragement to them, advice on being a parent or whatever it was. And he now has disabled that though. He hasn't had a lot of requests for cameos in a while. The last one that he posted was like, I think in December. So I don't think he's getting an overwhelming amount of requests for people to get advice from or get greetings from. So he has disconnected that and he is no longer available. They'll, uh, he can come back on at any time, but he disconnected. And interestingly, though, Christine also disconnected. But with Christine, her cameo is very, very popular. And so for hers, I would say it's probably more because she just can't manage the grief of what's happening and she's struggling. And with Cody, I just think that he's running away, which again is odd. Usually narcissists love any kind of attention, good or bad. And then when it comes to Christine, she has been really, really struggling. And everyone knows that Christine and Garrison had a very sweet relationship and that they were close. And she shared a series of photographs of him as a child. And then she shared, I've been scanning all my 35 millimeter camera film and found some gold mines. He truly blessed our lives always missing you, tell your story, film negative. And she found super, super cute photographs of Garrison as a child. And Christine's response is very typical of a mom that's lost her child. She's been very sad. She's been very, you know, looking for photos. Every photo of Garrison in it is now infinite, infinitely more important than ever before. I'm scrambling just for another glimpse of such an incredible man, brother and son. She's going through it in a way that is not about her. She misses him. She loves him. They were bonded. They loved each other. And now she can't say goodbye to him anymore. She can't, she can't say she loves him anymore. She can't give him a hug anymore. Re Christina's responding how a mother responds. So, so is Janelle. Janelle's posts have been very short she hasn't been overwhelmingly like verbal with what she's saying. She's not like divulging too much, but it's clear that she is as best she can grieving, but also trying to move forward and, and navigate this next part of her life without Garrison. So, Gar so Christine and Janelle are behaving like grieving parents. Cody and Robin are not. And McKelty let everyone know that Cody and Robin were at the funeral last week and that everyone was together, but it doesn't appear that that really in the long run is going to bring unity back into the family, at least not now. So what are your thoughts about Robin breaking her silence and Cody leaving Cameo and Christine missing Garrison? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe to my channel and also thank you so much for watching this video bye guys